Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Todd. I thought in this video I would build an antique Art Deco cigarette machine. Now, I'm going to build this for Aaron's Halloween party that he's having this fall. And the theme for that is a speakeasy. So it's going to be a bar setting. Now, let me show you a couple photos that I pulled off the internet to give you an idea of what this thing's going to look like. Now that's how I intend for this prop to look. Now as far as the materials I'm going to use, I'll be using plywood and some dimensional lumber. And then I'll use my nail gun and some glue to hold it all together. For the glass part, I'll probably use some plexiglass. Hopefully it'll be a fun build and it'll turn out great when I'm done. So if you're not doing anything, stick around and we'll build this together. I've got this plywood cut up, two pieces, roughly about 12 inches by 32 inches and what I'm going to do is nail these two together and then I'm going to cut them as one and I'm going to cut out basically a big L and then I'll pull it apart and then I'll have one side each for the cigarette vending machine. I've got the sides of the cigarette vending machine cut voila they match. So. The next step is to take and cut some more lumber for the framing and then I will come in here and show you how it all goes together and we'll start building it. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Once again I'm out here in the outside workshop with my dog Apollo, he's a great dame. I got most of the pieces cut for the cigarette vending machine. That's what this is right here. Did that this morning, then I took a little break, went out for lunch, got some barbecue sauce on my shirt, so I changed it, and now I'm back. Well, now it's time to start putting this together. I'm going to go outside and with my nail gun and some glue, start putting things together. And then I'll bring it back inside and I'll show you what I have and then we'll move on to the next step. Let me put another shot across the screen there of the Art Deco cigarette machine that I'm making that way it will remind you of what it's supposed to look like. So it's starting to resemble that. I got the basic skeleton put together here. Now, the next step is to put this bottom face plate on and then the top. Now, for the bottom face plate, I'm going to use plywood again. And I went ahead and made some markings here. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a section here and cut out a section here. This will be where the cigarettes drop out when you purchase them so you can grab them. And then this will be like a change return. So if you put 75 cents in and a cigarette costs 65 cents, you'd get some change back. Now, to make this cut, I'm going to use my circular saw and make a couple plunge cuts. I'll go in and over on the top and bottom. And I'll stop before I get to these marks right here. And then I'll take my jigsaw and kind of finish cutting it. Over here, I'll make a couple drill holes, stick my jigsaw in there and cut that out. And again, this will go down here on the bottom. Now, for the top, I've got this little square step pyramid that I need to glue and nail together. And right now it's just kind of sitting there. But, this is going to go on up here. Got to be careful, I didn't realize how tall this was. So let me go put all this together, cut this out, and then we will proceed from there. 
I've got the bottom face plate cut. Now I'll need to go back with my wood file and kind of clean up the edges on the inside here. And I've also got the top pyramid pieces cut. And they're just sitting there also. I'll have to go back and fasten those all together. But I think I'm going to stop for the day. I've been up since about 6 a.m. getting kind of tired. And then we'll pick up this video again tomorrow or the next and see if we can't finish it up. And of course the next step is going to be to do this inside here. So don't go anywhere. I will be back. I've done a few things since the last time I hit record. Let me show you what I've done. I went ahead and attached the top piece here, used my nail gun and some glue. I also added a base. And this is just the same plywood that I use for the sides here. However, I did use my router and made a little edge around it, like a bullnose, a decorative detail. I also added this section here. Now, this is where the actual individual packages of cigarettes will be displayed. And I think I'll be able to put probably four or five little individual packets in here. Now, I'll have a piece of wood that I'll set in the back here as a cover. To the front of this, I'm going to use plexiglass. So the plan is to build like a little picture frame that will cover up the packets of cigarettes that are being displayed. Now the picture frame, how I'm going to do that, I took some scrap lumber that I had, and this was just a 1x4, and I went ahead and used my table saw and I cut them in thirds. So these are roughly about a inch by inch, by about 18 inches long. But I will cut the length to fit in here. So after I cut these, I took my circular saw and I made like a little jig. And I just basically made a straight line off to one side. Now this little line here, which is just the width of a table saw, is where this plexiglass will slide in. And so I'll use these pieces here to make a frame around this opening. And I'll slide the plexiglass in, and then that will cover the packets of cigarettes are, that are being displayed. I also made this little coin catch, and I'll place this behind the coin return. And again, this piece here will fasten to the front. And then I'll also have to put little handles here. And I'll probably use like some dowel rods with like a little wooden ball. And these would be the little levers that you pull out that would drop the pack of cigarettes, whichever one you wanted. So I'll probably have either four or five of those little handle pulls there, depending on how many cigarette I have displayed here. And then on top of here, I've got another piece of plywood that will serve as the base. And then for the very back here, I'm going to use plywood, thin piece of plywood. And so this here will set back here. It'll be the front facing. And what I'll do is I'll trace it from the back and then I'll cut around it so that it has the shape of this. Now remember, I also have to cut out this hole here for the display. I'm going to go ahead and trim this piece up here and attach these bottom pieces. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I have and we'll go from there. I went ahead and added another board to give the front facing some more support. And I got the front facing cut. So this will go on here like that. And then also down here below, I went ahead and added a piece of wood inside here to kind of 
fill some of this void in underneath here. Give it a more realistic look. Now, I thought about painting the inside of here before putting these other pieces on, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I don't have the paint, so I may just go ahead and put it all together and then worry about painting it later. I also added this little coin catch to the back here. So the next step is to go ahead and fasten all this together and I'll use my nail gun with a little bit of glue and then I'll go through and sand all the edges, clean it up, put some nail filler in the nail holes, be ready to roll. Keep in mind that I'm not working with a set of blueprints. I'm basically making this up as I go based on a picture that I found off the internet. So there may be a better way to do this. And I am by no means an expert woodworker. That's the fun thing about making these props for Halloween, if you choose to use it for Halloween. They don't have to be perfect. Chances are they're probably going to be used in a location that's dark and dingy. So you're not going to see every little cranny and nook on the piece that you're building. And it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, the more distressed it looks, the better. Well, you saw the picture of how I want it to look. Let me show you how I'm going to achieve that. So, for the basic color of this vending machine, the base color will be a gloss black. And then for the trim pieces, I'll use this metallic paint. Now, for the trim pieces that are going to be the metallic, I'm basically using some uh, trim pieces of wood that I bought at the hardware store. And then I will fasten these to the front here. And I also have some other smaller pieces of trim that I'll paint the metallic color and kind of add in here also to achieve the look. Now, for the part right here where it's going to say cigarettes, I made this piece here. And this is just basically the same plywood that this is right here is just left over. And what I did was I had this little bicycle tire that I kind of set on here to get kind of the, the roundness, did an outline of it. And then I took my jigsaw and cut it. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Now, as far as the lettering here, I think I'm going to use cutouts. Now I'll paint this black and then the actual letters will be the metallic color. And again, this will go somewhere right in there. And I'll have to trim this up so it fits nice. Now, as far as the top here, I actually picked up this mirror at the Dollar Tree. And I think it'll work great up in here like that, somehow. And then once I get that done... It's just a matter of finishing up this covering here with the plexiglass. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that yet as far as whether I want to try to get the cigarettes in there first, the packages, or if I want to do it afterwards by coming in from the back side. That's to be determined. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some more of these trim pieces, get them painted, and then I'll go ahead and attach them to the front. And then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Well, it's been a while since I did anything to the Art Deco cigarette vending machine. But as you can tell, I did get the trim on, the mirror, and the lettering. So the next step is to focus on the display area. And I went ahead and bought some candy cigarettes off Amazon. Bought a carton of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the candy cigarette containers, the boxes, to put inside the display case here. And how that'll work is, they'll sit back here, but I'm actually going to glue them to this board here. And then I'll fasten this board to the back. And to the front of this little cutout here, I've got this cover, which is made out of wood and plexiglass. And if you recall, earlier in the video, I cut these with a table saw, and then I used my circular saw to make little grooves in here, which are the width of the saw blade, 
and the plexiglass fits nicely in that. So what I'll do is I'll glue and nail all these together to make a little frame. Then I'll paint these, or paint this, I'll paint it silver, and this will fasten to the front, like so. Now I also have this little coin slot that I made. I have to put a little paint in here, black, and I'll fasten that maybe here, and then I'll put like a little money sign or a value here, like 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever amount that I want to charge for the individual packs of cigarettes. Down here I made these little knobs, which are basically little wooden balls that I kind of drilled out, and I have these little dowel rods. Put some glue in there, and so I ended up with something like this. I've got four of them. Now, what I'll do is I'll drill a hole, four holes, under each of these cartons of cigarettes. And these will be the little handles that you would pull, depending on what cigarette package that you wanted. Now, after I do that, I'm pretty well done. I've got the front cover put together and painted. Also painted the knobs. Fasten the back end here. Now I'm going to glue these cartons onto this board here. I went ahead and cut a hole in the back and removed the candy. So I guess I'll just space those out, use a little Gorilla Glue, and glue them. Well, I finally got the Art Deco cigarette vending machine done. I feel like I've been working on it now for a couple months. Actually, I've had it done for a couple weeks now, but I needed to do this final video to wrap it all up. I went ahead and added this cover to the front. I added the pool knobs, which they really don't work. They're this there for looks. And then I added a coin slot and the price. Overall, I think it turned out really well and I'm happy with it. Hopefully you enjoyed the build also. Now, one other thing that I could do that would be kind of cool would be to add some type of lights inside here. And I could do that by drilling a couple holes in the back and then putting like a couple little battery operated light bulbs in there. It would just kind of make this glow and look cool at night, at least I think. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like these type of videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Until then, talk to you later.